Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for Shady Yawadi. <laughs> <laughs>
eight Ghostbusters in the Ghostbusters. Is this true? Yes, it's true. I mean, how fun would it have been if they called this Ghostbusters and then Ghostbusters were killed off in the first 10 minutes of the show and then for most of the runtime, we were following around Slimer. <laughs> Actually, I'd rather follow Slimer than who they made us follow. Roy it up teenage-minded, 20-year-old woman complaining non-stop about being lied to. I lied? Yes, because you lied. Liar! No, you're lying. You're lying. What makes you lie? Why must you turn my office into a house of lies? I died! As if that wasn't ironic at all. Yes, it was so ridiculous for us to expect that. But let's say for argument's sake, however, that this was for dramatic effect, that that was Kevin Smith's intention, right? The whole point of this was to showcase He-Man as a fallen hero, so that he could resurrect himself at the end and conquer. That's what the dramatic effect is, right? He rises up from the grave to become a hero once again. Fine, there was another film that did something quite similar, was there not? What was it? Oh yes, Batman v Superman and the Justice League. Why did you say that, Dad? <laughs> well, there was a whole comic book series about that, where a similar hero fell to a powerful villain, only to rise once again. And like this wild He-Man, Superman was also wild and didn't know where he was and became more violent and kind of similar to what we're seeing here, right? <laughs> now, that's about all the similarity that this has. Because what Zack Snyder did, that Revelations did not do, was A, give us some time with Superman so that we could get to know him, you know, with a whole film called Man of Steel. Whether you liked it or not, we got to know this version of Superman. They didn't just say, well, this is continuing off of the Richard Donner series after you haven't seen Superman for 40 years and then have him look completely different, act completely different, and then we're going to kill him in the first 10 minutes as if that has any dramatic effect at all. If it wasn't for the fact that we knew Superman, came to like Superman, grew with the character, his death had actual impact. So to kill off He-Man, this version of He-Man, a character that we had no knowledge of, don't know what he's about because we only got to see him at a party getting bullied by a roided up Tila, we really didn't get a chance to like him so the dramatic effect of his death didn't hit as hard. Already a fail. Let's also compare his death to Superman. When Superman died, the world mourned for Superman. There was a memorial to Superman. People put flowers and cried. Crime was on the rise. Lois Lane didn't shave her head, get angry, and shunned everyone in her life because Superman died. Oh, sorry, Superman lied. This is all a lie. I died. However, what did they do when He-Man died? Did they give a memorial to He-Man? Was there a statue designated for He-Man? Did they show a whole episode of how the world deteriorated? How crime went up because He-Man was gone? Yes, crime went up. Yes, the world deteriorated. But they didn't say it was because of He-Man. It was all blamed on the lack of magic. So the lack of magic became more important than the loss of He-Man. So, again, the dramatic effect of He-Man's death was never felt. Why? Because he never showed it to us. All we ever got to see was a woman who was pissy and angry constantly. But you're all a pack of liars. And Adam was no different. Putting him down every two seconds and couldn't forgive him. Remember, Kevin Smith said he didn't die for nothing. He died to save Eternia. Well, we never felt that. Because in the series itself, they made it feel like a sacrifice was for nothing. Nobody cared. Nobody noticed. <laughs> there was no reverence for it. And then when she actually meets Adam, instead of saying, thank you, Adam, for sacrificing yourself, she gives him the silent treatment because she didn't tell him the secret. Were you gonna talk about it? Why must you turn my office into a house of lies? I died! Childish writing! No dramatic effect there at all! So let's keep talking about dramatic effect, shall we? Now, in Superman, again for dramatic effect, they felt the loss of Superman because they created an external threat that was so strong that they needed to resurrect him. Well, the world falling into decay had nothing to do with He-Man's loss. It had to do with the loss of magic. Did they care about going back to heaven to bring back He-Man? No. They created some ridiculous plot where it involved going to hell to retrieve part of the sword and going to heaven to retrieve the other part. Adam is sitting there going, hey everyone, you want me to come back? And they're like, no, it's good, you could stay here. If I have to, I can go back. Why would you ever leave? <laughs> They didn't care about He-Man coming back. He came of his own volition. They never requested, He-Man, we need you. Could you come back? 
So their whole attempt to kill He-Man to bring dramatic effect of his resurrection was never felt. So my friends, Mr. Sunday Movies, tell me again about dramatic effect. They didn't build up the effect. Yes, you can have drama, sure. There's a lot of drama in it, but there was no effect. <laughs> in order to have an effect, well, you need to have set up certain circumstances to create that effect. All they created was animosity and anger. It had an effect, for sure. The effect was to piss people off. So if that's the dramatic effect Kevin Smith was going for, bravo, he did it. Congratulations. But his whole design was to do what he did to Superman to create the fall and resurrection of He-Man. Well, unfortunately, he failed at that effect. And it doesn't matter what his intention was. Hell, Tommy Wiseau's intention was to make a good film. How did that turn out? I did not. <laughs> Anyway, let's see what else they had to say about this. There's enough black characters in He-Man. There's already Clamp Champ. <laughs> uh. Kids don't know nothing is what I'm saying. <laughs> I like how they nitpick that. And I remember that actually being a problem for most fans. These people like to selectively pick certain people who may have had a problem with that. I don't know any personally who feels that way. Not in my comments either that I've ever read. Which is also funny in of itself because the same people who did not like Revelations seem to still enjoy the new 3D animated series even despite the fact that they gender swapped Rare Man and race swapped Tila and the Sorceress. I mean, there were some people complaining about that, but for most part, people still enjoyed the series. So all of your arguments on that are completely false. It's not true. It's bullshit. And ridiculous. And he has a nerve to actually bring up Clamp Champ. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, fine. I I'm already seeing this, there's already more clamp trap in the original, and there was hardly any clamp trap at all. Because every black kid growing up with He-Man, whoever wanted to see Clamp Champ on the screen, they all were so happy when they found out that Clamp Champ got all of what? One second of airtime? What is that? Did he even say a word? Yes, they were all waiting with bated breath to see the toy that they bought come to life. <laughs> Only to find out that Clamp Tramp's representation was actually traded for Andra. Yes, all those old school Andra fans were out there going, Yes, I'm so glad you gave us more Andra and less Clamp Tramp. Oh, I'm sorry, did I forget King Grayskull? You know, the guy that's, that was there for one episode? Then you'll probably never see him again? I didn't. I mean, I'm not. I, I, I came in desperation to... Um... How is your sex life? I love how they use that. That is even more funny. <laughs> that they would even bring this up. It's like with Star Wars patting themselves on the back. He goes, look, we brought Finn. Finn is so much better than Lando Calrissian. Now, Finn had a lot of potential, but you saw what they did with Finn towards the end, right? So again, patting on the back for this wonderful woke He-Man. Tell me, if you were a fan of Clamp Champ, were you so relieved that you got to see King Grayskull on screen for all of two seconds? We couldn't be that fortunate. Or Andra, because I'm pretty sure Andra is all you were thinking about when you saw the trailer with Clamp Champ. <laughs> give me a break about representation. They always pretend to give fans what they want. There was no reason not to include Clamp Champ in the series. You could have had him very easily in there. You didn't need Roboto. I can streamline any procedure except this thing you call love. Oh, poor type organizer. We couldn't have replaced Roboto with Clamp Champ. It's more of the same nonsense. They pretend to be woke, create animosity towards everything, and then blame it on the fans. It's our fault. Look at us at our crazy high expectations. You know the expectations that they set up? You expected to see Clamp Champ in the series? Well, that's on you, buddy, because how dare you pay attention to the trailer? <laughs> <laughs> and assume that he would be a big part of the show. Especially since you made a big point of saying, Hey, remember Clamp Champ who you didn't get to see in the original series very often? Well, in this series, well, we are going to double that time. <laughs> Two times zero is still zero. So once again, I don't understand their point. <laughs> well, what I'm saying is new He-Man is infinitely better than old He-Man. And if you watched old He-Man, you would know that. Anyway, anyway, did you watch old He-Man? It seems to me like you're an expert. I have a hard time believing you did. I haven't got time for foolish conversation. New He-Man, infinitely better than the old He-Man. Right away, I laugh at that hysterically. <laughs> How original. <laughs> now, maybe in the animation? Perhaps. That's still debatable. Yes, the action sequences were far better, but let's be honest here. To make a claim that something is better than something else, you first have to understand the thing that you're talking about. The 
age-old He-Man was never designed to appease to adults. It meant to be a cheesy children's cartoon from the beginning. It never pretended to be anything else. And guess what? It actually succeeded at being a cartoon to entertain children. That's what it was designed for. So it was extremely successful in its actual conception and design. Just never learn, do they? This, however, was not designed for children. No, it was designed for 40-year-old adults, old fans of He-Man, who have grown up, and yet you still decided to implement the same childish level humor. Man-at-arms is feeling manny emotions. If not worse, because at least it was delivered better in the original, the lines and the horrible acting in this, it was like two or three actors that I could tolerate. The rest were pretty bad. It sounded like Sarah Michelle Gellar delivered lines in between bowel movements. How dare you talk to me like that? You should tell me everything. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! The tone of this series was all over the place. Ridiculous jokes, followed by the death of someone you cared about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out who this was supposed to appeal to. Like right now, we live in a very dark time. People are worried about their mortality. They're worried about being sick. Worried about the loss of our freedoms. Fighting with each other for this, that, and the other thing. We have reality spit in our face every chance we get. We turn to series like these as an escape. And what did Kevin Smith deliver? No escape. Death was on the menu. Every five minutes, we were reminded about it. Another world being despondent by a disease, the disease of lack of magic, but the same thing. There was no escape. At least the old filmation show offered an escape from reality. It still served its purpose better than this ever did. So I still take exception to that statement. And let's be honest, the original show was designed for six-year-olds and it was made with technology from the 80s. Are you telling me that 40 years later, <laughs> it's not as good as the original? whoop de doo that's not an accomplishment. <laughs> Visually, it, it was pretty good. But everything else from story, explanations, tone, was completely off and way worse than Filmations. Yes, but do go on about how much better it was. And I like their statements too. They just say things without backing it up. Oh, they don't have time. They're talking about Ghostbusters when they decided to make an interlude here to rag on us for some reason. Anyway, that's all they had to say. Now, most of the time, I would let this slide and just ignore it and go about my day. But I, Skeletor, am sick and tired. I am sick and tired of Hollywood using our nostalgia for their own twisted purposes. And then when we don't like the caravan of garbage they spew at us, they blame us. And then you have YouTube channels like these, for some reason, who defend this. And I don't understand why you defend this. It was an obvious bait and switch. And if you liked the series, that's fine. I'm not saying you could not possibly like the series. Maybe you could find a way to like brooding characters like Teela. Maybe that's your thing. But to sit there and joke around like, ha ha ha, we are so clever, talking about how we don't understand dramatic storytelling, that's why we didn't like He-Man. The series has plenty of reasons why we should hate it, and all you have to do is go through my catalog of reactions to find out the reasons for why we hate this. And there's plenty of them. Anyway, that's all I have to say on this matter. Again, I don't want to create a war of words or back and forth between Mr. Sunday Movies. I don't have a problem with your channel or your content. You guys seem like witty, hilarious guys. And perhaps we could be friends in some other context. I do, however, take exception to these statements. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree with Skeletor? Or do you agree with the caravan of garbage? Again, don't get mad at me. I didn't make the title. <laughs> Do you feel that this was designed for dramatic effect? I mean, it could have been designed for dramatic effect. My point is just that it didn't have the effect they were hoping for. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure Tommy Wiseau could have done a better job. Well, maybe I went a little too far. Cheep, 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 cheep. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to Shadyology. Until next time. Ah!